Hi friends, in the previous class we have seen one of the application of divide and conquer that is binary sets. Now we are going to the another concept of a divide and conquer that is merge sort, one of the sorting technique. So here of course we know the sorting technique means among a number of elements you need to sort those elements into an order. So those elements which may not be in an order you need to sort those elements into sorted order that is a sorting technique in that we have going for one of the sorting technique that is match sort now so we'll see what is this match sort how it will sort the elements what is this procedure everything we will see here so the first one first statement that i have given is given a sequence of n elements that is of course starts from a of 1 to a of n the general idea is to find the mid and that is a middle then split into two sets so what is this mid and how you need to split into two sets that we need to find so i'll take again here one example so that you can understand better we'll see this example first now i have taken here a set of elements where it index starts from one to and a uh, total number of elements are 10 here i have taken of course i need to sort these elements into an order so now how this procedure will proceed we'll see here okay so that is a and array which is this is the initial and last element that is a of 1 to 10 is totally the elements so it will divide this array into two parts how it will divide means based on the mid value so if i take the middle value here so first plus last by two if i take i'll get the value as one so how i am dividing this array so that is a condition here if i get the mid value if i have initial value mid value and last value high value so i need to divide the array into a of l comma mid is the one thing and the other one is a of mid plus one comma high so like this i need to divide so if you take this concept so this is the l value this is the high value you will get the mid value as 1 plus 10 by 2 which is 5 you will get so based on that if i divide a of 1 to 5 and here the mid value is 5 means 5 plus 1 6 6 to last value h so like this it will divide and again here also a of 1 plus 5 by 2 which is 3 so a of 1 2 3 then 4 to 5 next a of 1 2 2 next only one element will be there here 3 to 3 here also 1 2 2 means again 1 to 1 means one element here 2 to 2 so here if you uh, here also 6 to 10 is also the similar way if you observe here you are dividing your problem into sub problems like this until the problem is small exactly with respect to divide and conquer strategy you are dividing your array into smaller arrays like you are dividing your problem into sub problems like this until you feel that your problem is small why i am feeling that this is a small means you cannot divide this further that is only one element you have a of one to one means only one element you cannot divide further so that's why this is a small problem like this after dividing you can see here a of 1 to 1 means first element what is the first element 50 here second element 30 now after dividing what you are doing here is 50 30 you are applying the method and you are sorting only these two elements and giving these values to this array so now 50 30 if i make it into order it will become 30 and 50 see instead of i am making this into sorted i have divide into smaller and and i am taking only these two elements and i am sorting now here only one element now we see in this level you have two elements here here you have one element so now 30 50 80 if i make it into an order anyway you will get like this 30 50 80 now the array which consisting three elements in the order that is 30 50 80 if you take here also four to four means the element the fourth element 90 fifth element 10 if you make it into an order now it becomes 10 comma 90 4 to 5 means only two elements that is 10 comma 90 now if you see here here three elements here two elements if you make them into an sorted order here it becomes 10 30 50 89 i'll tell you how it will sort how you it will make which element will come first and which element will come last so this is a procedure like this in each level it will go the same thing here also 70 20 it becomes 20 70 here 40 20 40 70 like this here and it comes here like this now these two sub arrays again sorted and finally we'll get the order here so i can say this is an order that is 10 20 30 up to 100 
so like this it will come so this is actually the method of met sort so now we will we'll go with algorithmic how it will sort how it will divide everything we will see now so given a sequence of n elements a of 1 to n the general idea is to find mid value we are finding the mid value split into two sets you can see two sets one set is a of 1 to n by 2 and the another set is n by 2 plus 1 that is mid plus 1 n by 2 means mid only so mid plus 1 up to n so like this you are dividing in each time in each time you are dividing it into two parts like this now each set is individually sorted that i explained no each set is individually sorted that is this set is individually sorted this set is individually sorted like this and the resulting sorted sequences are matched to produce a single sorted sequence of n elements the meaning here is so this set is individually sorted and this one and this is uh, sorted 30 50 80 sorted 10 90 is sorted now these two are again sorted to get this so that is the thing here he is explained so resulting sorted sequences are matched to produce a single sorted sequence of n elements thus we have another ideal example of of course this is the divide and conquer strategy in which the splitting is into two equal sized sets and the combining operation is the merging of two sorted sets into one that means every time if you see this array is sorted 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 every time it is sorted now finally you will get the answer as again sorted one also. so this is a procedure that will be applied in med sort using divide and conquer strategy now if you go to the algorithmic part so how we need to write an algorithm so this is the algorithm so this med sort algorithm will have two procedures not only one procedure two procedure one procedure name is med sort and the another procedure name is merge. Merge sort is the one procedure and merge is the another procedure. I'll show you what is merge. Merge is this one. So this is a merge procedure. This is a merge sort procedure. Combinedly, you will get the answer for merge sort algorithm. So uh, of course, this merge sort procedure is a recursive. You are calling recursively here. So this is a merge sort procedure. We'll see this one. We, I'll explain this one by an example. Whatever the example we have taken in the previous, Based on that, I'll explain here. So first, met sort of low comma high. What will be my low value? Here, if I take low value, is 1 anyway, high value is 10. Now, of course, it is a global array to be sorted. Small of p is true. When it will be true? If there is one element exists, that is only we have done now here. At the end, if it and consisting only in one element, then I can say it is a problem is small. So in this case, the list is already sorted that means only one element no need to sort if low is less than high so you need to proceed like this what you need to proceed you can see here divide the problem into sub problems find way to split the set so you need to divide the problem way to split so i need to get the splitting criteria that is by finding mid value by finding mid value if i find the mid value i can split so i found here the mid value as five here somewhere here mid value as 3 that's why i'm splitting into f l comma mid and mid plus one comma high for that i'm dividing it into two parts so i'm finding mid value then solve the sub problem now what i am doing here met sort of low comma mid mid plus one comma high what is the meaning here so here you can see so if this is an array so here you can see a of low comma mid mid plus one comma high so all this sub procedure has to be again solved so this is a recursive procedure here we need to apply and combine the solution so how to combine the solution merge low mid high so what happens here is in the merge i'm telling about merge procedure so if you take here a of 1 2 3 3 so what is the low value here 1 what is the high value here 3 what is the mid value here 2 so the mid value is 2 here if you take this one low value is 1 high value is 5 mid value is 3 because this is the mid value low comma mid mid plus 1 comma like this I need to do and I am merging this see what happens when I merged this is array 1 2 2 3 2 3 it becomes 1 2 3 here 1 2 3 4 2 5 it becomes 1 2 5 so like this 6 to 8 9 to 10 it becomes 6 to 10 so like this we need to match it so this is a concept of matching here now this is a dividing part so how you are dividing into equal that I explained here that is a 12th line and 13th line how these levels are divided like this so that explained with this 12th and 13th lines now the procedure match low mid high means so if i have 30 uh, let, let us take 50 30 here how it became 30 50 
if I have let us suppose 90 10 how it become 10 90 here I have 30 50 80 and 10 90 how it become 10 30 50 so that is explained here with this matching two sorted subarrays so anyway uh, if I take these met these two of course for these two match procedure is applied and of course these two match procedure is applied and of course these two so what I will do now here is instead of explaining everything I'll explain only this one and this one so that you can understand better because this is having more number of elements that's why it is better for you to understand so I'm taking only these two and how it will become like this sorted so I'm taking these two parts that is this array is sorted one this array is sorted one so if I match these two how it will become I'll explain with this so I have written here 10 30 50 80 90 one side and the 20 40 60 70 100 and other side now we'll see this algorithm so algorithm match low mid high so what is the low value here low value is one only high value is of course 10 only mid value 5 now what I will do is of course global array containing two sorted subsets that is low mid low comma mid this is and mid plus one comma high these go the goal is to match these two subsets into a single set residing at low comma high so now we are taking some auxiliary array that is B array so I'll tell you why it is used now this is an auxiliary array B we'll see what happens here now H equals to low H equals to low means what happens to low value that is I'll write here itself 1 so L equals to low L value is also 1 not L here this is I and J equals to mid plus 1 that is 6 so L I value is 1 J value is 6 what is the meaning here is so of course this is the index 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now what it means is I starts from the first array index index of the first element of first array j starts from first element of the second array so i value is from first array j value is from second array that's the first element now high h is less than or equals to mid j is less than or equals to i so you need to proceed this until all the elements so what is the meaning here is all the elements if you complete in first array this condition will be false if all the elements in the second array are completed then this condition will be false so we'll say this one. if a of h is less than a of j that means h means 1 so a of h what is a of h a of 1 10 10 is less than a of j a of 6 10 is less than 20 now the first condition is 10 is less than 20 if it is true what you are doing h equals to h plus 1 so now what you are doing here is I'm writing here h equals to initially 1 no h value I'm incrementing and at the same time what I am doing b of i equals to a of h so b array this is b of i i value is 1 so I'll make it 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so b of 1 b of 1 equals to what you are putting a of h what is that value 10 you are putting okay now this is over if condition is true anyway else part it will not go and this is while condition again it goes for here i equals to i plus 1 now i value will become 1 is over so I'll write i value is 1 now it will become 2 now of course j value is 6 here now going to that j value is 6 of course less than condition is true if a of h what is a of h now h value is 2 what is a of 2 so now 30 is less than 20 no so it goes to else part where b of i that is b of 2 is equals to a of j what is a of j j is 6 so what is a 20 now it will insert 20 and immediately increasing the j so now you can observe what happens here is it is checking 10 20 which is less than it is putting here now it is checking incrementing so I am putting 10 means it is incrementing the index of the first array that is 30 now compared with 20 20 is greater 20 you are putting now you are putting 20 that's why you increment the j value now 40 it comes 30 40 which is the least one 30 it will come in the next one that is you can see here again if you go here a of h h means 2 so that is 30 is less than a of j 7 40 30 is less than 40 yes so 
बी एफ आई इक्वस टू हेयर सो थर्टी विल बी प्लेस्ड हेयर ओके नेक्स्ट यू विल गेट फोर्टी नेक्स्ट यू विल गेट फिफ्टी सो नेक्स्ट यू विल गेट फिफ्टी सी हेयर फिफ्टी सिक्सटी यू विल गेट फिफ्टी दैट मीन्स हेच वैल्यू विल बिकम ऑफकोर्स हेयर थ्री देन जे वैल्यू विल बिकम एट नेक्स्ट थ्री फिफ्टी इज ओवर नो फिफ्टी इज ओवर देन इट विल चेक फॉर फोर सो फोर एटी एंड सिक्सटी दैट इज सिक्सटी ओनली नेक्स्ट दैट इज एट विल बिकम नाइन नो एच ऑफ फोर एटी इज देर सेवेंटी इज देर विच इज लीस्ट वैल्यू सेवेंटी नाउ सेवेंटी हैज टू बी प्लेस एंड नाउ हियर इट बिकम्स टेन नाउ हियर यू कैन सी फोर एटी एंड हंड्रेड सो एटी विल कम हियर नेक्स्ट एच वैल्यू विल बिकम फाइव नाइन्टी एंड हंड्रेड सो नाइन्टी विल कम हियर एंड देन हंड्रेड द फाइनल वन सी लाइक दिस इट विल हैपन अप टू हियर नाउ द कॉन्सेप्ट हियर इज इफ एच इज ग्रेटर देन मिड सो वॉट इज द लॉजिक हियर इज इफ एच इज ग्रेटर वॉट इज द लॉजिक हियर एच वैल्यू इज गोइंग लाइक दिस नाउ mid value is 5 now h is greater than mid when it will become if the all elements in the first array are completed so what is the conclusion here is if the elements of the first array are completed whatever the leftover elements in the second array you, we can place directly here why because all the elements in this are sorted so one element is present that's why you can place the element directly here instead of again sorting searching and in reverse also you can say if this condition else means that means this condition if this array is completed whatever the elements here left over will be directly submitted to this array b so that is a concept of this condition that is this if else condition if h is greater than mid then for k equals to j to i whatever the elements are there all directly you can place else for k equals h to mid that means h to mid means this one so whatever the elements are there you can directly place so like this if you proceed you will get all the elements which in b auxiliary array are sorted order so now after doing this b is an auxiliary array we have taken but our original array is a only so what we are doing in the line of 30 all the elements which are there in b are copying to a sequentially that is k equals to low to high you are merging and a of k equals to b of k so now in a of it becomes a in also in b also and in a also you will get the elements in sorted array now finally you are getting the values of a here so this is a concept of match sort so what is this match sort we'll quickly revise so elements to be divided into two sets uh, until the problem is small how to divide that is algorithm you can use match sort where low comma mid like this you need to divide then you need to match how you need to match is according to this one here you will take one auxiliary array and then you are checking one element in the first element in the one array first array first element in the second array which is the list that you are placing into the auxiliary array so next you are checking the next element and the previous element which is not submitted into b array so like this we will complete all those elements and finally after getting all the sorted elements into b now you are copying those elements into a so this is a procedure of binary sets thank you